Hey there folks, welcome to this lesson. So firstly, I'd just like to apologize for the gap in between the last lesson and this lesson. I had a lot of stuff happening and I'm gonna try and get a lesson out to you guys every week. Please also don't forget about our 1000 subscriber giveaway where I'll be giving away this very snare drum that I'm using in this lesson. It's a 13 inch DW design series snare drum and for your chance to win, please view this video above for all the details. And please stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can win yourself a pair of Promark 5A Fire Grain Rebound Sticks. So in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you a groove that when I first heard it, I was blown away and I thought to myself, man, I need to learn that. That is the coolest groove I've ever heard in my life. Mind you, I've had a lot of those moments along the years, but this was one of the major ones. So flashback to 1995-96, my brother came home with a CD from a band called Incognito, and the I think the album was 100 Degrees and Rising, and I was just listening to it, and I was, man, this is really cool stuff. And then I got to, I think it was track four, and it was a tune called Roots. And as soon as the loop started in it, I was like, oh my God, what the, what the heck is this? I've got to learn this song, I've got to learn this song. So probably being a 15, 16 year old, young, naive guy, I didn't realize how recording worked. And I thought that everything was being played by one person. So realistically, this is a groove being played by a drummer or programmed by a drummer and a cowbell part played over the top. But I just wanted to play it all as a whole. So this is my version of that groove. But enough about all that, let's just jump in and learn this groove. Now this is a two bar pattern, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it beat by beat. So we're gonna start with the first beat of bar one, and then we're gonna add the second beat, then we'll add the third, and we'll build it up from there. Now one thing you probably would have noticed already from the intro and hearing this, is that there's a splash in the groove with our left foot. We're gonna leave that out till the end, we'll add that in at the end. Just, I wanna get the whole groove down first, and then we can add that in later. The next thing you're gonna notice is that their left foot is playing eighth notes through the whole groove. I'm gonna add this in from the start through the whole thing and we're gonna layer everything on top of that. So this becomes basically like our backbone of the whole groove and everything's gonna to stick to that. So in beat one, we've got left foot hi-hat, bass drum and floor tom with our right hand. On the in, we've got a ghosted left hand. Then on the and, we've got another ghosted left hand with a hi-hat, followed by a cowbell on the R. So now let's try that at 40 beats per minute. Now in B2, we've got an accented snare drum stroke on the two, nothing on the E, cowbell and hi-hat on the and, and a bass drum on the R. Now let's add that with our first beat and see how we go. So now in B3, on three, we've got bass drum and hi-hat, followed by a ghost note on the E, and then cowbell and hi-hat on the and. And on A, uh, we've got nothing. So now let's add all three beats together. Now to complete the first bar, on four we've got an accent on the snare with a hi-hat, followed by a cowbell on the E of four, then a hi-hat on the and of four, and then we've got a left hand on the floor tom with a bass drum on the A uh of four. 
So now let's try the whole first bar. So now moving into the second bar. Now beat one of the second bar is actually exactly the same as the first bar. So we've got our right hand playing a floor tom with bass drum and hi-hat on the one. Then on the E we've got a ghost note, followed by a ghost note on and with the hi-hat with our left foot, and then a cowbell on the R. So now let's give all that a go with a click at 40 beats per minute. Now B2 of the second bar again is the same as the one above. So we've got a snare drum on two, nothing on E, cowbell and hi-hat on the and, and a bass drum on the R. Uh. So let's add everything to that point at 40 beats per minute. So in beat three of the second bar, we've got hi-hat and bass drum together on the three, followed by a bass drum on the R. Uh. Then we've got a cowbell and hi-hat on the and, and another bass drum on the R. Uh. Now if you're having trouble playing the three bass drums in a row from beat two to three, don't, don't freak out, it's fine, it's, it's normal. It's not easy to play that, but what you can do if you really want to play this groove, but that's just killing you and stopping you from getting there, just drop that bass drum on the end of beat two and just play the ones in beat three and that'll still sound good and it'll still fit. It's just that the three are the actual ones that are in the groove. So now let's put that all together at 40 beats per minute. Now finally, on beat four of bar two, we've got hi-hat with our left foot, snare drum and crash on four, nothing on E, 
Then we've got high hat on its own on the and, and then we're gonna come around over onto the floor tom with our left hand on the ah, but we're gonna double it. So we're gonna play two 30 second notes in a row. So it's gonna be ah, so ah. And then that's gonna finish up on the one on the next bar. It's gonna be like a drag into it. So let's add that all together at 40 beats per minute. Great, so now let's speed that up. Let's do that at 60 beats per minute. So now I'm going to play it at 80 beats per minute, but this time I'm going to add the splash of the hi-hat on the one of each bar. So wish me luck, here we go at 80 beats per minute. And finally, at tempo, at 104 beats per minute. So thank you for checking out this lesson and if you did like it, please hit the thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified of new lessons. And if you would like to win a pair of Promark 5A Rebound Fire Grain Sticks, all you need to do is like, subscribe, share and comment below and I'll pick a winner and announce that in my next video. So again, hope you've enjoyed this lesson and until next time, happy practicing.